Hi everyone, my name's Katie. I'm also known as Clean Coach Katie and earlier this year I took part in the Cyprus Marathon. Now I didn't do the marathon but I did the half marathon and absolutely loved it. So here I'm going to share with you the reasons why I love Paphos, what I love about the event and why I'm going back in 2019. So around a year ago I worked out that I'd never taken part in a, an abroad race before. I'd never, I'd run on holiday but I'd never actually taken part in a race. So I said to James, my boyfriend, I'd like to do one and he said okay well just do some research, find a race that looks good and we'll go and do it basically. So I did a bit of research, I put some options together and Cyprus seemed the best one for us. Now in comparison to say, because I'm in the UK, in comparison to you know, race entry, travel, accommodation, food, the cost of what it could do to, uh, to do an event in the UK was actually equating to the same price as um, Cyprus. So we thought, why not turn it into a holiday? So we went along this year and there was a 5K, a 10K, a half and a full marathon. So it just meant that it was catering for everyone. So that's it, we were sold. It worked well into my marathon training and a bit of spring sunshine when the weather actually this year was really bad in the UK just seemed like a win-win situation. So we went over and absolutely loved it. The location is fantastic. So the race itself takes place um, from the castle, which is right along the harbour. So stunning, stunning beachfront and also just a great way to set off the race. Now we found that the organisation of everything was really good all the way through from, you know, booking up the race online. We got some pre-event communication giving us our number and, you know, as someone traveling to do an event you know you feel a bit more at ease when you know that you've got all the information before you fly so once we got out there we managed to pick up our bibs from the expo we had some really cool pictures outside of the castle with our bibs and we were ready for race day so we felt really at ease uh, felt really welcomed too so race day itself we um we weren't staying too far from where the race was so we took a nice walk down to the beach everyone was sort of heading that way and it just got the atmosphere going already and as soon as we hit the um sort of event area there was music going there was lots of people you could tell there's people from all different parts of the world different clubs and it just seemed really friendly and accommodating you know it's quite scary being in a different country and you might be scared of sort of language barriers or not knowing where to go or what to do but we just felt really at ease that everything was all in one location so that worked really well they're pumping some really good music so you could either get into the zone or you could sort of just enjoy the atmosphere before the race started. It all went off in waves, so it was very clear on what was going on, and the race itself was just really good. I had quite a good experience um, in terms of the race and what time I wanted, so that worked really well. And then at the end, there was um, lots of water, loads of fruit, so not like those bananas, oranges, apples. And then also for those people that like to hydrate well, after a race, there was um, a beer stand. So um, that was really good and it just encouraged people to stick around for longer and welcome some, say, like the marathon people in. So we just found that it was really good for that, that purpose. We then stayed around the front um, and had some dinner and some more drinks around the beachfront and everyone else was doing the same. So it just, just the whole the whole experience was great. So it wasn't just rocking up to a race and going away again. From start to finish, we just turned it into a whole experience. And memories that I won't really forget, the medal also was awesome. Loved it, really, really cool medal. And that takes pride on my, my medal hanger. So yeah, like it's a really good location. Uh, it's beautiful. The organization was really good and we just were made to feel really welcome. So. I would really recommend to anyone that's thinking about it, just go along and do it. Um, also as well, the trophy, the trophy hall they had was unbelievable. I didn't even realise I'd won a trophy, but it's it's huge. And I got that for being first in my age category. Now, I don't normally get that. I was fourth lady, but I was first in my age category. Normally my age category, you either have to win, win it or that's it. But yeah, I've got a lovely trophy to take away with me um, and they just had loads. So I'd really recommend sticking around. Um, and yeah, just really looking forward to next year. There's a whole big group of the Redway Runners, which is my running club in Milton Keynes. We're all going along. And because there are so many distances to be able to take part in, everyone's coming along because of it. So it's we're going to hopefully have some nice weather, not too warm on race day, and um, just be able to enjoy a whole trip and an experience around 
the race. So if you are thinking about doing a Cyprus half marathon or Cyprus marathon next year, then please do get involved, come along with us, join us, and it's set to be a fantastic weekend or even week if you turn it into a holiday. So hopefully see as many of you there as possible in 2019.